Alaya's personal space is a lot like her character in the film. So she's she has a bit of this like rock chic kind of vibe. Aditi and me honestly are very similar in in terms of our personal style and uh, vibe in general, which is weird, which we also discovered you know along the way. And I love doing things with us because she's one of the few people who will try everything I think. Like she will never look at something and say, "Nay, not this, not that, not my vibe." She's she's open to trying everything. If you've ever wondered how stars like Alaya F and Aditi Rao Hyderi always manage to be on top of the fashion game, we have your answer right here. Joining us on Pink Villa today is Sanam Ratanthi, the stylist behind all of their fabulous looks. Thank you for joining us, Sanam, and welcome to Pink Villa. Thank you, Sneha. My pleasure. Hi, guys. So to kick things off, I want to know how you got into styling Bollywood specifically. So I started my career working with Anita. I'm still very much part of uh, her company, Style Cell. I was really keen to get into styling, but I didn't know how it worked. I didn't know anyone, you know, any stylist from the industry. Uh, so my friend said, "Why don't you come?" Anita is, uh, you know, styling Deepika for this. It was a new to Jenna ad, and uh, she said, "Why don't you come and just meet her?" So I said, "Cool." So I came and uh, I spoke very briefly with her. She said, "Hi, what's up? What have you done?" And I had not really worked before. And uh, she said, "Why don't you stick around today and tomorrow?" And uh, Uh, you know, so get an idea of what we do and stuff, and let's connect again. And then there was no looking back. So then I was on board on her team, and then something led to another, and then slowly, slowly, I started. Uh, Ravan was my very first film, and Ida was styling uh, Shah Rukh Sir for the film. So I assisted on that, and then after that, it was just like one project would get over something else, something else, something else, and the ball <laughs> kept rolling, and I just like went to the flow. So let's talk about Aditi first. She is a very elegant, poised person, and it's not just her personality, but her outfits as well. So, how do you manage to find outfits that resonate so well with her personality? So, Aditi and me, honestly, are very similar in in terms of our personal style and uh, vibe in general, which is weird, which we also discovered, you know, along the way. So, it's actually like styling Aditi is like dressing. from and also she's i mean she's stunning she looks good in everything and um i know most people th- um think that you know we like she looks nice in indian and we do a lot more of boho and like safer but she just anything you give her even if i give her a super sexy outfit she'll still walk out looking really like cute and elegant and pretty because that's who she is how has aditi's style evolved Aditi, in, honestly, in her personal space, she's still the same. She's the same Adu I knew a couple of years back whenever we started. But uh, she likes it to be really like casual, simple, cutesy. But in terms of us working together, I feel like I can uh, now confidently, uh, you know, try different silhouettes on her, different necklines on her, and be a little more experimental. And now the like. The trust between us is also built in such a way that she just gives me a very, uh, you know, free hand to do whatever I want, and she's and I love doing things with her because she's one of the few people who will try everything I think. Like she will never look at something and say, "Nay, not this, not that, not my vibe." She's she's open to trying everything, and then everything is up for discussion. So, is there something that Aditi would never wear? She doesn't have any hang-ups about anything, honestly. Okay. So, so she's, she's open to experimenting with everything. Yeah, yeah, she's open to experimenting with everything. She's open to trying everything, and then of course we narrow down and then stick to what we know will work for her. So uh, moving on to Alaya, you styled her in Jawani Janiyaman, and after that, so I want to know your experience with how different it was to style Alaya as a character on screen and as her own individual person off screen. So uh, interestingly, Alaya's personal space is a lot like her character in the film. She has a bit of this like rock chic kind of vibe, with a little touch of boho. So when I was styling her in the film, I didn't know that. Uh, but when I started working with her on promotions and also like got to know her outside of work, 
uh, and hung with her i realized she has a lot of that character in her in heavenly so it was pretty much the same she's a really young cool girl again no hang up she'll try everything and she's just super easy to work with in general she's one of the nicest people i've worked with in recent times from like the newcomers that i've worked with now moving on to seth in jawani janeman his character was very all over the place bright and colorful but his personal style is you know more classic more sophisticated so how did you manage to get him to wear those you know really funky colorful outfits in the film such a cool guy like he is so amazing and he was really easy he is really cool like i know his personal space is more like subtle and he be you know you see him in kurta pajamas all the time but he's a really stylish guy he gets it like he just like he loved jazz it was his character in jawan janiman he loved all the clothes he was uh, you know more than happy to wear these weird quirky things and he was just nailing it like i literally had uh, you know no trouble there was no back and forth there was no disagreements it was just i don't know one of those lucky projects where everything just fell into place so do you think fashion is in need of watchdogs like that sabia in india i don't mind it honestly like i see i have mixed feelings sometimes i feel they are in cloud of line you know they pull out people that don't really you know and comment on stuff that is not even relevant to what they are doing you know so it's a bit tricky but on the upside i guess you know a lot of designers are now a lot more cautious about what they're putting up there you know and are trying to be more original and you know with the fear of <laughs> that kind of it is not a terrible thing and uh, so i take it with a pinch of salt i don't think i've ever been on like it's anything terrible about me yet i'm going to show you a few looks of outfits that you have put together on celebrities and i want you to tell me your thought process or what it was like to create that outfit so we wanted to keep it dressy but also subtle which is why the color palette you know so it's a diwali party and it's dressed up it needs to be festive it still needs to be young so you know i just felt like doing like going into a little more pastel pretty zone doesn't it's not too dressed up it's not too dressed down the color kind of balances it out so just somehow when we tried this we both were just like wow we need to wear this the whole the color combination the whole silhouette it just somehow uh looked so stunning on her and it fit her like a glove i remember not needing to even alter this outfit and uh it just it looked beautiful and adu and me both were like let's just do this let's wear this <laughs> this was her uh for the screening of jawani chan and uh and it was still sexy and uh and she was happy and it was a really comfortable outfit also considering that she had to you know be walk like meet a bunch of people and sit at the screening and stand up like i said you have to think about the logistics of like crumpling crinkling you know media shots the fact that they were bouncing from one screen to another you know back and forth so all in all this was like a nice clean outfit can't go wrong thank you so much for doing this such a pleasure thank you